morning. Welcome to Caddix TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, October 19th, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Caddix TV. One of the big questions in the reinsurance sector these days is whether the $100 billion plus of expected claim losses from Hurricane Irma, uh, Maria, and Harvey are going to force the alternative capital sector to stop investing in reinsurance underwriting. The alternative capital sector has uh, uh, made a significant investment in reinsurance over the past 15 years and is expected to uh, probably incur about 20 to 25 percent of that expected claim loss or about 25 billion dollars. Analysts at Moody's expect that the recent hurricanes will drive substantial losses for alternative capital providers but that the uh, insurance link security sophisticated investor base is expected to be willing and able to replace any lost capital. It has to be remembered that uh, the insurance-linked security sophisticated investor base typically enroll for one-year periods and are not rated reinsurance carriers um, and who expect to receive an annual rate of return and, of course, obtain their principal back. Many of the losses from the hurricanes mean that not only will the annual rate of return be wiped out, but the principal will be lost. The big question in the industry right now is will the rates rise high enough to be able to entice uh, the alternative capital investors to remain in the marketplace and possibly even attract new ones. Moody seems to think that uh, that will in fact happen. UK financial regulators and the serious fraud office are reviewing whether banks HSBC and Standard Charter are linked to a South African corruption scandal comes after a uh, member of the House of Lords, Peter Haynes, said that banks may have inadvertently been conduits for laundered money up to about 400 million pounds of funds may have been moved between South Africa's President Jacob Zuma uh, and a wealthy business family uh, called the Guptas. The Treasury has asked regulators, including the Financial Conduct Authority and the Serious Fraud Office, to look into the allegations. A general cargo ship about 370 feet long called the Quan Hai 88 is foundering in the Taiwan Straits right now. The ship apparently hit the underwater rocks and suffered a hull breach. All 16 crew members were rescued uh, by a patrol boat. The fate of the ship is yet unknown. Uh, the ship was fully loaded en route from Dongguan uh, to Zhengzheng province. The accident was apparently caused by stormy weather and navigational error. Zurich Insurance is expecting a $717 million third quarter hit at a group level as a result of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Uh, its subsidiary, Farmers, is expected to book an additional $17 million cat loss as well. Uh, the post-tax hit within the PNC operation in Zurich will mean about $620 million in losses. Um, the final loss assessment said Zurich will take time to complete due to the nature of the events. Zurich said that the losses would not have a significant impact on the group's overall financial strength and financial flexibility. Its CEO, Mario Greco, said that the events had demonstrated the effectiveness of our, of our underwriting and the improvements made in our reinsurance programs. Uh, they ensure that the overall losses remain well within our overall risk tolerance. An explosion at an unlicensed fire, uh, firecracker factory in India killed eight workers and injured 20 other people in the eastern part of the country as Hindus celebrated the uh, Diwali festival. A police officer said that uh, the collapsed building was in a town in the Basalore district in Orissa State. Uh, the explosion took place uh, uh, probably in a house that was being used as a factory illegally without a license. A massive fire has destroyed an iconic luxury hotel in the city of Yangon, used to be called Rangoon, in Burma or in Myanmar, killing one person. Two others were injured in the blaze, which began at the uh, Kandawagi Palace at about uh, 3 a.m. local time. The hotel was largely made out of teak wood and built in traditional Burmese style. It was a uh, local landmark popular with tourists. And it was owned by the Hutu HTOO Group. Uh, it's hard to say why the fire broke out. The spokesman said the cause is under investigation. The hotel has been uh, completely destroyed. Elon Musk's idea for a super-fast transport train called the Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, which is a tube-based transportation system that will propel capsules through a tube at high speed using magnetic levitation, 
has been deemed feasible and insurable by reinsurer Munich Re. Uh, Munich Re was tasked with carrying out a risk report on Musk's project and offered its stamp of approval after finding that the project was viable and in fact could be insured. Torsten Jaworek, a member of the Munich Re Board of Management, said that the technology developed by Musk is set to fundamentally change the way we travel in the future. Such technological shifts give rise to new insurance needs and we're happy to develop them. The uh, system will uh, send pods uh, moving at uh, a great rate of speed, being able to, for example, cover the distance between Los Angeles and San Francisco in about 30 minutes. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.